I'm Jonathan Perlmeyer, a recent graduate of Thomas More University. And I'm Alexis Brandberg, a current junior at Thomas More University. And we're here at the STEM Outreach Center at the Thomas More University Ohio River Valley Field Station to talk to you guys about the fish. The study of fish is called ichthyology. Today we're going to learn about the basic characteristics that almost all fish have. So the first characteristic that we'll look at is what do fish have as a skin? Alexis, what do fish have as a skin? Scales. Scales, that's right. There are many different kinds of scales that fish have. The second point, over here, what do fish use to swim? Fins. Fins, that's exactly right. So as you can see on here, the fish have very different kinds of fins. The tail fin or the caudal fin helps it propel forward. It uses things like the pectoral fin to help it steer. And number three, what do fish use to breathe? Their gills. Exactly, they use gills. So fish are able to take oxygen out of the water, very similar to how our lungs are able to take oxygen out of the air. And number four, this is the top. What do fish use to help them see in the dark? Is it their eyes? It is not their eyes. Mm, the lateral line? It is the lateral line. So as you can see on this fish right here, they have a very slim line of electroreceptors that are able to help them see through the dark or the sill that would be in the river and help them find their prey or find predators that are swimming around. So Jonathan, is this over here a fish? I don't know. Let's go through our four characteristics. So does it have scales? Mm, no. Oh, I don't think so. What about number two? Does it have fins? Yeah, right here. Oh, it has two on the back. Does it have gills? On the side. What about a lateral line? I don't see one. I don't think it has a lateral line, but is it a fish? Yes! I, I, yeah, that is a lamprey. That size is something you would find out in the sea. Here in the river, outside of the field station, you would find them much smaller. They're actually parasitic kinds of fish. So we have these kinds of fish here, like we talked about basic characteristics, but here at the field station we like to look at them up close. So we have different mechanisms that are able to capture these fish, like you see up here. Um, one is this seine net right here that's a really long net we would spread out across the stream. Fish would run into it, we would collect them, and then we would be able to ID them and put them back. A second way, right here, is an electrofisher. So right here it creates a circuit and it sends myoelectric shocks throughout the stream. And it causes fish muscles to contract and flow to the surface. That way we are able to collect them in nets. There are also nets that help us to collect from the river. There are gill nets, which are 125 foot long nets out of the river to help collect big river fish. There are also hoop nets, which are a series of hoops that slowly gets smaller through the back so that way a fish can swim in all the way back to the bait and not be able to swim out. So Jonathan, is this a good way to catch fish? It is a good way for the medical recreation. For research purposes, it's not the best way because hooks are actually very damaging to fish and they need to recover after being hooked by a line. So now we're going to look at some specific fish that we would catch in the river. So here, you can see, it has a very long nose and they have very sharp teeth. This is from the same organism that I'm holding in my hand. This is a long-nosed gar and is a top predator. It eats other fish that are in the river. This fish here is a bluegill. You can see it has very sharp spines on the dorsal fin right here and then down here on the anal fin. This fish is able to be identified through the spot just behind the gill flap and then the spot on the back of the dorsal fin. This is an omnivore and it eats plants and animals. What I have here is called a channel catfish. They're detritivores in the Ohio River and eat dead living matter. They have pointy spines here in their fins. And they also have long whiskers called barbels and spots all down the side of the body, which indicate it's a channel catfish. Over here, I have a gizzard chad. They are planktonivores in the river and eat plankton. You can tell it's a gizzard chad by the dark spot behind their gills 
in a long hair right here called a filament on their pectoral fin. Fun fact about those gizzard shad, those are actually the most common fish in the river, and some people may have not even heard of them before. So now that we've learned about some of the fish we have here in the Ohio River, we can apply our knowledge and identify fish we have here in our fish tank. Right here, we have a long-nosed gar with its long nose called a rostrum. And right here, we have a long-eared sunfish. And right here, you can see this guy swimming right here as a northern hog sucker. You can kind of see his mouth going in and out. And then down here is a green sunfish, also similar to what we had with the bluegill along with the long ear. We also have some creek chubs that are swimming around throughout the tank as well.